this video covers everything about gamma testing. There are three types of user acceptance testing. First is alpha testing, second is beta testing, and third is gamma testing. The video links of alpha and beta testing are available in description. Now let's talk about gamma testing. Gamma testing is performed after beta testing. In some of the projects, gamma testing is skipped and they release the product for public use after beta testing without performing gamma testing. But being a tester or QA engineer, you should have knowledge about it. So gamma testing is the final stage of user acceptance testing. Here are few details about gamma testing, like when this testing is performed, who performs it, why and how it is performed. So gamma testing does not include any predefined QA activities to perform. The whole product is not tested in this phase. Only limited specifications or functionalities are tested. There is not any hard and fast rule to perform it. It is just performed for safety before launching the product. Only limited number of people who are selected by client end perform gamma testing and they are not developers or QA engineers. They are end users who doesn't know anything about the code. They perform the testing and collect all their feedback or any issues found or any improvements they analyzed or any ideas to enhance the product. All the feedback will be collected from those people at the end and will consider them as improvements for next upcoming versions of software product. During gamma testing, changes or updates in the code are not allowed. Only the feedbacks are collected for future updates. But in case of any bug is detected, which is either critical or the highest priority, only then the changes can be done in the code. Otherwise, the code changes are avoided. As few people perform this testing, so the feedback will be collected effectively. So after completion of gamma testing, the product will be finally released on production. So this is all about gamma testing. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe and share the channel Automation Exercise.